The winds of change are once again stirring for SpaceX's Starbase as news of breaking ground for a newer and bigger high bay assembly facility is in the air. And if this news excites you too, stick around because in this video we will be filling you in with all that we know about this gripping new development in the world of SpaceX. Since Elon first tweeted about a larger high bay coming to SpaceX's Starbase, we have been eagerly awaiting for its construction to begin. At last, the ground has been broken to start construction of the largest building yet at Starbase. The CEO of SpaceX, Elon Musk, confirmed in his profile on Twitter that the company should expand the Starship ship factory located in Boca Chica in the south of Texas. Elon said this new high bay will be only a little taller and much bigger base. According to Musk, this new building will likely have a larger footprint. Recently, some of the first signs of construction for the new high bay were spotted from the air. Also known as the Boca Chica launch site, the spaceport starbase is primarily constructed by SpaceX to provide an exclusive launch site to accommodate its launch manifest and meet tight launch windows. However, in 2018, the company announced that Starbase would serve as an exclusive launch site for SpaceX's next generation launch vehicle, Starship. The high bays are used to build these 50 meter tall Starships and also the 70 meters tall super heavy boosters. These massive vehicles are then transported roughly a mile down the road where they are stacked together at the launch site. Currently, the structure in Boca Chica has a base measuring 30 by 25 meters and is very efficient in positioning and storing not only the Starship ships, but also the super heavy rockets used as the spacecraft's primary thrusters. On the new structure, Musk was simplistic in the details, limiting himself to saying that the new area will not be much taller than the current one, but will be considerably larger capable of housing two gantry cranes. By building a second high bay, SpaceX will be able to simultaneously work on far more starships and boosters than before. Although he didn't offer numbers, there is speculation that Elon Musk's company will build a vehicle assembly building within parameters set by NASA. The US space agency has said minimum size of at least 130 meters high, almost double the current base. However, the highest probability is that the new area will be used to store four to five Starship ships so that engineering teams can work simultaneously. Musk has previously indicated that much of the SpaceX structure in Boca Chica was a bunch of empty space. So taking advantage of that terrain might make more sense to expand the company's production capacity. According to Musk, the newest addition to SpaceX's arsenal of Starship production facilities will be located just north of an existing high bay, which measures approximately 30 meters by 25 meters. Most importantly, Boca Chica's high bay is tall enough for SpaceX to use a bridge crane to stack 50 meter Starships and approximately 70 meter super heavy boosters. Far more efficient and protected than using wheeled or tracked cranes to assemble rockets out in the open. SpaceX has been expanding and upgrading its Boca Chica Starship factory, part of which has included building multiple high bays, also known as Vehicle Vertical Assembling Builds or VABs. Those buildings have been sized specifically for Starship production and are not even tall enough to allow Starships to be fully integrated instead serving as bays for the assembly of Starship tank sections. Construction of the existing high bay began in May 2020 and was more or less complete by the start of 2021. The structure was truly finished in April 2021 with the installation of a heavy duty bridge crane. Though work continues to this day on what CEO Elon Musk has described as a bar and viewing area to be located at the top of the bay. Musk's assertion that the new facility will be much larger can be interpreted in a number of ways. There is a distant possibility that SpaceX will build a true NASA-style vehicle assembly building, like the colossal VAB used to fully assemble Saturn V and the Space Shuttle at Kennedy Space Center. For Starship, that would require a structure at least approximately 130 meters tall, which is more than 50% taller than the current high bay. 
More likely, Musk means that SpaceX will effectively be building a second similarly tall high bay, but with far more usable floor space. SpaceX has a plot of land around 170 meters by 190 meters that is currently half used as a Starship scrapyard and overflow lot, but most of the space is empty. Even if SpaceX only turned half of that land into a sort of vertical Starship assembly line, you would still boost high bay floor space. SpaceX is committed to developing revolutionary space technology with the ultimate goal of enabling people to live on other planets. Boca Chica Village is our latest launch site dedicated to Starship, our next generation launch vehicle. SpaceX is committed to developing this town into a 21st century spaceport. The company wrote in an August 2020 job listing seeking to hire a resort development manager. SpaceX has not initiated the construction of its resort yet. So far, only a shiny outdoor restaurant made out of Starship stainless steel fins can be seen down in the Highway 4 road. The restaurant will provide meals for SpaceX employees. Local reports state that the company is purchasing lands surrounding its Starbase facility that will likely support SpaceX operations. Though the existing Starship VAB is large enough for SpaceX to begin stacking roughly half of a super heavy booster at a time, it would defeat the purpose of having a VAB, shielding the final assembly process from winds and weather. To complete the new VAB, some 32 of those prefab sections will likely need to be installed, ultimately producing a high bay that is almost identical to the Starship VAB, but tall enough to fully stack super heavy boosters. With at least two to three times more surface area than the high bay facility, the new wide bay should give SpaceX enough space to simultaneously assemble something like four to eight Starships or super heavy boosters. Depending on which direction SpaceX goes, the wide bay could also potentially be large enough for SpaceX to create the first true Starship and super heavy assembly lines. Though, that would be a substantial departure from Starbase's existing approach to manufacturing. As of now, there is not all that much to see. Construction crews are breaking up concrete to prepare for the foundation of the new large structure. But SpaceX is known for its fast pace of development. They installed the Raptors on B4 overnight in preparation for stacking. Unlike the prototypes, however, these structures need to last well beyond a single flight. As such, they take a bit more time. The first high bay construction first went vertical in July last year and was basically complete at the start of this year. With this high bay being much larger, it could take even longer, meaning it will not be completed until well into 2022. With that, we have come to the end of this video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about these new developments down below in the comments section. Thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.